Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Steel Reserve, and tonight we have truly flavored vodka, Wildberry. Ah. Uh, we had the other truly just now. Yeah. I really hope that this is that this is strawberry comparable. Wildberry flavored vodka. Who wouldn't want a wildberry flavored vodka though? Now, the, only, the only thing looking at the bottle that I really just don't like is the, to get the truly name on it. <laughs> You say that every time. I know, but their seltzers are just not, I don't know, I'm not into them. Just not. I will say when... It, when it does smell nice just right off the bat. I can smell it from here, but it looks like, it looks like some sort of like fortified wine. It doesn't look like flavored vodka. No, it does not. Oh no. You smell that? That smells pretty good. That smells amazing. I've never thought I'd say that about vodka. Right? Here, set your glass down real quick. I'm doing myself a disfavor here. How dare you? You need to get practice practice a little bit of self love. There we go. Well, no, 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 I think I got more than that, you know. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it smells amazing. It does. It it smells like one of those, um, just like mixed berry hand soaps or hand sanitizer. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it's from. Like. Bath and Body Works. Because <laughs> yeah. it's got that little alcohol bite, also. Like I can't pick out any one berry, but it smells like blackberries and blueberries and and like any kind. You think of wild berry, that's the smell that you're gonna get. Like wild berry skittles. That's a that's a kind of a mellow berry flavor. Yep, but still, still easy to go down. Oh yeah, I'm. Still amazed that the vodka they used is like good vodka. I was 100% expecting like charcoal. Over, oh, yeah. Charcoal over burn. Mmm. <laughs> you know what the berries remind me of, the taste? Uh, you remember that, uh, that chapstick that was flavored Lip from snackers. like the 90s? Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit too much of the of the of the chapstick. Where are you where are you getting the chapstick radar? Oh, by the stick. I tell you what. No. Okay. Hey, you know what? Yeah, you're admitting you have a problem. That's the first. Step That's the to first recovery. step to recovery. Now it's it tastes a little bit too much like that chapstick to me. It doesn't taste like it doesn't taste like you should be drinking it. And yet. It does. Yet I am going to drink it. <laughs> what a... Man, I just... It's even kind of thick. Like, kind of oily. Like it, it sticks to the glass. It just slowly comes down, as you can see. As it ought to. <laughs> as it should. What do you... What do you... Uh, what do you think of it? What do you rate it? How do you feel deep down... Honestly, I'm going to give this a 7. Now, it's got a good flavor to it. Probably better if we chilled the bottle. I do think it would be better chilled. Yeah, yeah. you're right. But, you know, nothing offensive in the flavor. And the going down, you get a little bit of heat. Because, you know, you're still drinking straight alcohol here. <laughs> this is true. But all in all, that's pretty solid. It is still 30%. Uh, I'm going to give it a six and a half. It, it tastes a little bit too much like, like chapstick. Again, is that a bad thing? I, I don't know, man. It, it tastes like I shouldn't be consuming it. I don't know. It, it's, it's weird for me. Well, you know what you need to do? I think we should mix it. Mix it and consume some more. With Milo's sweetened-ish tea. Do like 50-50 for me. I want to see how that is. Mm. 
I still think it's weird to put tea in in uh, in flavored vodka in uh, in like the the lemonade we had. I still think it's odd. Well, that's you. But I know that it tastes good. Yeah. Whiskey and tea goes good too. It does. That's what I was drinking last week. Crown Royal and uh, Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Smell that. That's interesting. Oh yeah, that's. I think that's better than the than the straight, for sure. But that's still weird. It's a little. It's a little bit. It's a little bit unconventional. I I admit. It loses that that. That thing that was making me, that was reminding me of chapstick is now gone. Yeah, but just mixing it with tea, it's, I would have gone with like, it's a straight lemonade or something. I think the lemonade would also be really good, yeah. Yeah. Which is a shame, because I'm pretty sure there is lemonade in the house somewhere. <laughs> oh, that is special K, he does love lemonade. He loves his lemonade. But who doesn't? Lemonade's good. Yeah. This, as a mixer... 100% better, which would make it a 12, but this is not a 12. So it was like 30% better. This is this is an 8 now, for sure. Uh, that that weird tang, twang that was making me not super enjoy it earlier, totally gone. The alcohol flavor got absorbed into the tea through some sort of magic. It's called mixing. Mixing, mixing magic. Ah. It's kind of madness. <laughs> uh, um, far better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the seven. Yeah. If we had a different mixer, the score would probably be higher. What we had right here. Yeah. You know, it has potential. I see that it has potential. The mixer. Maybe we'll have to get some. Uh, we'll have to get some lemonade later. One of these days. Who doesn't like some lemonade? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, that's been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else, leave it down in the comments below. Down there. In the meantime, check out our Facebook, our Instagram. Patreon. Yeah, Instagram. Good Patreon, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm Radar. I'm still reserved. Thanks for watching. Howdy ho.